Hi guys, did a vape hunter video yesterday where I was doing a tear down on a vape I'd picked up in a car park and I mentioned that the mouthpiece, which is detachable, had got little neodymium magnets in it. In fact, I took them out. Um, let's bring them up a bit closer so we can see them. There's two in the mouthpiece. It's two of these on the left here. Then there's two more from another mouthpiece that I'd picked up. And then the two on the right are from the actual vape itself. So it's got two in the vape and they connect to the two in the mouthpiece to hold the mouthpiece in place um, so that the electricity can go through the contacts, not through the magnets, there's separate little brass contacts to actually power the heater element, which is in the mouthpiece. Well, today, I just happened to have picked up another one, just the mouthpiece, which has clearly been laying in the road for quite a while because the magnets have got a bit of corrosion on them, but they're still there. Those are the brass contacts that power the heater element. And the actual vape fluid is in this little container here, or would be if it had any. So what I'm going to do now is just take these magnets out. And my idea is I might make one of my little pulse motors using the magnets. So that's plan A at the moment. To get these out, I found the easiest way was just basically destroy it. And then they'll come out. There we go. Can you come out? Oh, actually, I've done that a bit too rough and I've damaged the end of the magnet. So I need to be a bit more careful than that. That'll still that'll still work, but I'll be a bit more careful at the other end. Come on, out you come. There we go. So that's two more magnets. Although, as I say, I've damaged one of them a bit. Um, so I will go and do a bit of 3D printing and decide myself, decide, design myself a little pulse motor. Well, I really didn't expect that one to print. The filament was very stringy and horrible. Seems to have done it though. Plan A was to use this one that I printed. But when I try and make sure the magnets go into the little uh, locations, as soon as I try and use these to actually push them in, they stick on there and bounce out. So, plan B, oh, I didn't actually say, what I'm going to do is replace that rotor, which is running off that solar panel, replace that with, well, it was going to be that, but it's now going to be that one, which I've just made the holes a bit deeper, or the slots. So, uh, the only thing is I can't remember... Whether I've done these north, south, north, south, or all one way. So the easiest way to find out, this one's actually got eight magnets in it. We're in new six because I've only got six at the moment. We'll just see that's opposing, that's attracting. 
that's opposing, that's attracting. So they're going north, south, north, south, all the way around. Okay. I probably ought to try and get that needle through the middle first. Because that hole doesn't look big enough. I should think I drilled it out. Yeah, there's no way that's going to go in there. I used the old file and modified it. But maybe I chose the wrong version of the old file. There's no way that needle's going to go through there. That hole was much too small. Right, I'll do a little bit of rework and we'll come back. Well, I think it would be safe to say that was unexpectedly harder than it was intended to be. Uh, I quite struggled to get them in there. It's because they're so small, it's, it's hard to get hold of them and align them. I mean, those magnets are fairly small, but they're easy to deal with. These ones were a pain. I even snapped the little top piece off, a bit of plastic, off the top of that one, but I'm not going to worry about it. But if I printed it again, I'd give them just a little bit more height so they fit in easier. Anyway, it's in there now. I put a little spot of super glue on them as well to try and stop them jumping out. I haven't adjusted the height yet, but the idea is this one sits on that screw head there and the magnet at the top holds it in alignment. It doesn't actually touch it. And it just did. <laughs> this is obviously a bit lighter than the other one. So it's jumping. Oh, that's annoying. That makes sense because obviously those magnets are quite a bit heavier. <sighs> oh, it's funny how little things that you don't think about start to play an important part. The only way I'm going to get that to sit down there is to add some weight to it. I've taken the camera off the tripod just so we can get a closer look. I put a bit of blue tack underneath. I use blue tack for just about everything. So that's just a bit of weight to stop it bouncing up. So it stays on the screw head at the bottom. That's its pivot point or bearing. And you can see there's a gap at the top. And that is working absolutely fine. I'll just stop it. There you go. Self starts. That's running off. That solar panel is much bigger than it needs because that's the one I'm using for running this indoors out of direct sunlight. You can probably tell there is no direct sunlight here at the moment. The sun would be behind me, but it's in cloud. So we're not in direct sunlight. And it's running fine. I think that board puts out about six volts or something. This only needs one and a half volts. So there we go. Vape magnets doing something useful with vapes. Well, I suppose you could question whether this is useful or not. It's useful to me. I need to move that little bit of wire out of the way. Don't want that to get caught. Yeah. So we can put the lid back on. It slows down when I'm moving my arm 
over the panel. Cutting the amount of sunlight go into it, well, light go into it. There you go, slowing right down now. And away we go again. Yeah, that one was a fail. So that can go in the bin. We'll save this one. It's been in the sun so long, it's gone. It's that convex, isn't it, when it bows out like that. It's softened in the sun and sunk. And I've done that one that way up just so we can see the magnets inside. So, yeah, job done. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.